You are listening to the Your Knee, Your Health podcast. I'm your host, Adam Rosen. I'm a fellowship-trained, board-certified orthopedic surgeon who specializes in knee replacement. Here I'll talk to you about common knee complaints and other orthopedic issues. We'll cover other important health-related topics, all of which are meant to helpfully answer some of your questions and help improve the quality of your life. Thanks for listening, and on with the next episode. Hello and welcome back. You're listening to the Your Knee, Your Health podcast. I'm Dr. Adam Rosen. Thanks for joining us again. Today, I'm going to talk to you about some beginning exercises in people that deal with knee pain and suffer from knee arthritis. These are the most common exercises that I start with all of my patients and two fairly simple exercises. One focuses more on strengthening and one focuses more on just your aerobic exercise. Now, like any exercise program, you definitely want to talk to your doctor, your physician, to make sure that it's safe for you to complete these. Uh, But both of these are fairly simple, and uh, pretty much anybody can do this because there's no special equipment required for the first exercise. And the second one you can do with either simple walking or a stationary bike if you do have access to that. So, Exercise number one. This is what's called the straight leg raise. Uh, This requires you, your leg, and a flat surface. So what I have my patients do is I really try to create the habit of healthy living. I'm not looking for someone to do an exercise for a week or a month. I'm looking for someone to exercise every day for the rest of their life. And for some people, this is a big change. So when you start this exercise program... Sometimes people feel, oh, this is too easy or I don't have to do this. So they try not to do it or they think I'll, I'll do it later, do it harder. But I really want you to start to create the habit of exercise. So I'm going to have you start doing this exercise on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's going to seem easy in the beginning, but as you do more strengthening in the future, this is going to be your strengthening day. And I have all of my patients and when I talk to people, I strongly recommend that you do this first thing in the morning. Why? We all have a tendency to plan on doing something, especially exercise. And the day gets busy, the day goes on, you have lunch, you go to work, you meet friends, you run errands, you come home, you have dinner, and at that point you're tired and think, I should have worked out, Ah, I'll do it tomorrow. And that's a common thing that we all tend to do. So if you get this exercise done in the morning, one, it's done. Two, there has been some benefit shown from starting an exercise program in the morning. It stokes the fire. It gets your calories burned going quicker throughout the day. And in people that are trying to maintain a healthy weight or lose weight, this is going to stoke your body to generate more calories burned throughout the day. The other thing for people that are trying to eat healthy and trying to lose weight has actually been shown that exercise prior to eating, people tend to eat less so they don't overeat, and they also tend to make better choices. So by doing this first thing in the morning, I find it's a great way to get your morning going and to help you lead a healthier life. So what we're going to do with the exercise, this is you laying flat on the floor. Uh, for some patients, if they have difficulty getting on and off the floor, you can actually do this in bed so you throw the covers back. If we start with our right leg, what you're going to do is you're going to bend your left knee up So your foot is flat on the floor. This takes the pressure off your back. And now we want to engage the right knee. So how do we do this? Well, we take our toes and we pull them up towards our nose, which brings our ankle up. It engages the ankle. Then you want to take your knee and you want to push your knee into the floor and straighten your leg as much as you can, which engages your thigh muscle, the quadriceps, and it'll tighten up your kneecap. And in this position now, you want to lift the leg up. And you only have to lift it up 6, 8, 10 inches. And then you want to bring it back down, but just above the floor. So your heel is not touching the floor. You don't want to let it rest. And then you're going to repeat. Go up again. Second time, hold it there, back down. So you do this two, three, four, up to 10 times. And we're going to try to do this 10 times on the right and 10 times on the left. Now, if you can't do 10, that's okay. Just do five. And if you can't do five, just do what you can. Once you've completed your 10, then you rest Now you're going to take your left leg, straighten it out, bend your right knee up so your right foot is on the floor. Now we're going to work on the left leg. So again, you take your toes and your ankle, you pull them up to engage your ankle. Then you tighten up your thigh, that quadriceps muscle, tightening up your knee, 
and now you're going to lift your left leg six, eight, ten inches, hold it there, bring it back down, do not let your heel touch, and then repeat and try to do this again ten times. So now that you've done that, you've just completed your first exercise routine. What I would like you to do is do this again Wednesday morning, do this again Friday morning. The second week, you're going to do 20. The third week, 30. Now let's say the fourth week, you were able to do 30 on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but you can't do 40 in a row. Well, that's okay. Do 35. Or some people find that they can do 30 or 40 but it's hard to do 30 or 40 in a row. So you might start doing these in sets. So by the third week, you can do 10 on the right, 10 on the left, 10 on the right, 10 on the left, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. And the goal after six weeks is you're going to hit 60 repetitions. Now, it is okay if you can only move five repetitions every week. And it's okay if it takes you 12 weeks to get up to 60 repetitions. But the goal is to get in the habit of exercise, and the goal is to slowly strengthen that quadriceps muscle. This is a very safe exercise, even for people with kneecap arthritis, because many of the other exercises that you do for your knee and your muscles in your leg require bending and straightening of the knee. So this exercise requires none of that because the leg is held straight the whole time, and it doesn't require any special equipment. And it's been shown that in people that do just this one exercise for 12 weeks, you can actually decrease pain in your painful or arthritic knee. But the important thing, again, is following through and doing this. Now, at the end of your period of doing 60 repetitions, which may take 6 or 12 weeks, if you like this exercise and want to make it harder, you have two variations. You can actually go back and start again at 10, and you can put on a shoe or a hiking boot, or if you have a one-pound ankle weight, and go through this sequence again. So you're doing the same exercises but you're now doing it with more weight on the leg. The other variation for people that are more advanced is you can actually take your leg when you engage it. So you've pulled your toes and ankles up, you've locked your leg. Now rotate your leg out at your hip so your toes are pointing out to the corner of the room and lift up. This engages the inner muscle called the VMO or vastus medialis obliquus. This is a much harder exercise, but it's great for people that can do it, especially if they suffer from kneecap arthritis And once you've gotten through this exercise program, let's say you're 12 weeks in and you've mastered it all, this is a great way now to introduce a second exercise. The reason that I don't like introducing lots of exercises at one time is that if people sit down for the first episode and they do a half hour of leg exercises and you have pain, you do not know which exercise caused the pain or maybe all of them. And people then are less likely to come back the following day and do these exercises again. So the goal of the first few weeks is a warm-up. It's a starting point. It's a way of creating the habit of exercise. So that's your strengthening exercise. Now, the other exercise is an aerobic exercise. I hear a lot of people that will say, oh, I, my knee hurts. I can't exercise. I can't walk. Well, if you got to the doctor's office, if you went to the supermarket, if you went out to dinner, you can walk a little bit. I'm not asking you to walk a mile or an hour. But we're going to start with an exercise program, and the simplest thing I have people do is on their smartphone or their watch, set the timer for two and a half minutes, and plan on the opposite days that you're doing these strengthening exercises. So this is going to be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Walk out your door, two and a half minutes, your thing, your phone or your watch is going to beep, turn around and walk home. You've just done a five-minute walking exercise on purpose for your health, for your knee. Now, the second week, you're going to change that timer to five minutes, and now you're going to do a 10-minute walk. So you've walked out in any direction. Beep, turn around, come home. And each week, you're going to try to increase this walking from five minutes to 10 minutes to 15 to 20, and you're going to build up slow. The goal is trying to get up to the point where you can walk for a half hour. Now, if you can't, let's say you can only do 20 minutes, that's okay. Or maybe you can't do 30 minutes at one time. We'll do 15 minutes in the morning and then 15 minutes again in the afternoon. Now, for people that have access to a stationary bike, especially if the pain in the knee is too much when they walk, a stationary bike is an even better way of exercising the knee in people that have knee pain because it puts less pressure on the knee joint. So if you have a stationary bike, you want to make sure that it's fitted appropriately. And the same rule applies. Do not get on for a half hour because commonly people get on They work out for a half hour, they think that's a great idea, and now you're in a lot of pain the following day or the next two or three days, and again, you're less likely to exercise. So if you have a bike, 
Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, five minutes, get off. Second week, 10 minutes, get off. Your goal is to build up to 30 minutes, but you want to do this slowly and once again, create the habit. Now, if you don't have a bike machine, maybe you have pedals, or you can even look online and look into investing in these pedal machines. These are nice little gadgets that are much smaller and cheaper than a stationary bicycle. They can fit underneath a chair or a sofa, and you can sit in a chair and you can use the pedal machine. And the other alternative, if you have options, uh, is if you have a stationary bike or pedal machine and you enjoy the walking, but maybe the walking is too much or maybe today it's raining, you can alternate. So you do five minutes on Tuesday for walking and then five minutes on Thursday on the bike and then alternate depending on how your knee feels and what the weather is like depending on where you live. So now we've gotten, let's say, six weeks out and now maybe you're doing Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. You're doing your walks or your bike and maybe you're up to 20, hopefully 30 minutes. You're doing 60 repetitions of your knee exercises Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You have Sunday as a rest day, but this is great because now you're getting an exercise every day. And if you do this and keep this up, you can always add more to this later, but it's going to help your knee. It's going to strengthen your leg. It's going to help your health and make you feel better. And that's really the goal. So I hope that you've enjoyed these two simple exercises that you can start at home today. Again, make the habit of exercising first thing in the morning so you don't delay this and put this off to the following day because at the end of the day, you're too tired. Exercise in the morning. Thanks for listening. This has been the Your Knee, Your Health podcast. I'm Adam Rosen, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks for listening to the Your Knee, Your Health podcast. If you've not already done so, please subscribe so you'll be notified of future episodes. And if you enjoy what you're hearing, please take the time to leave a review. It helps other people like you find the show. I'm your host, Adam Rosen, and until next time, stay safe.